welcome back to my channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary and a professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Today, we are going to dive into messages of the heart, messages from your spirit guides, especially when it comes to love, intimacy, connection, because that was one of my most highly requested pick a card readings. And we're in a time of the year where we are going into our hibernation holes, into our dens, and really taking a lot of time to reflect. So what messages do spirit have for us when it comes to our heart space, our sanctuaries right now? I have three different piles for you to choose from. You guys know the drill. Allow yourself to be naturally drawn and, gravi and gravitate towards the card pile that is standing out to you the most. And of course, I will meet you at your timestamp. This is your oracle cards. I'm going to put them over here for you. But for right now, what does spirit need you to hear and receive when it comes to messages for your heart, from your guides, and for love? Hmm. I'm seeing a little hummingbird. I just got a vision of a hummingbird. In fact, I got a little distracted by it, just kind of watching it go in, go like just kind of fly around. And I was kind of impressed by its movement actually. I zoned out for a second because I was watching it go around. And I think what this is telling me right now so far, because the more that I speak, the more that I channel, it's, I feel like you're in a space right now of pause and reflection. I am also hearing the word insight. I think you're looking for something. I think that you're looking for more sweetness and softness and kindness in your life. This is not just from romantic partners or friendships. It's also your surroundings, your home environment, something about the home. I'm feeling like you're trying to spruce up the home or make the home prettier. Everything that it is that you touch around you, you're trying to beaut beautify it and make it feel prettier. Make it feel, um, you're like, tr you're really taking care of your things around you, people around you, yourself. You're interested in making the world, your world, a more beautiful place, literally and figuratively by the good energy that it is that you're putting out there, but also the good energy that you're putting into yourself or that you have around you. So this is kind of giving me beauty treatments, perfumes, fragrant foods, things that really raise your vibration and spirit is acknowledging you with that. Or if you have not done that, they're asking you to do that. Okay, the cards, wow. Listen, the cards that you have pulled out already are Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. That's a vibe. <laughs> That's such a vibe. And behind that was the Three of Swords. This is moving past. And I'm actually hearing the word replacing that I almost really want to just toss this three of swords because it feels like you're just slowly but surely taking the, you're taking life and you're making, you're turning it into something very, very beautiful. And while you're doing that, you're extracting the poison. You're sucking out the poison, the pain of disappointment, frustration, things that aren't working out, or it's like you're waiting for a cycle in your life to end, but not that you're waiting. You're not trying to rush through it you're making the best out of it. Um, Queen of Pentacles is very much hyper-focused on tangible, realistic, practical, things that she can put her hands on, things that feel valuable to her. And Queen of Wands is enjoying her experiences, enjoying her life, and taking all of that and just living it to the full. And that's what I'm seeing for you guys. You're not apologizing anymore for what you want, who you are, what you're asking for, because also not only 
do you know that you deserve it? But you know that whatever you give to, you will feed into it. You will make it better. You make it beautiful. You make it amazing. So now you're in this stage in your life where you're like, I don't have anything to apologize for. I don't have any area in my life that I should be shining, like dimming my shine. I'm going to share my truth. I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to share my light because that is where I'm at in my life right now. I heard the word counsel. I feel that people are actually coming to you for advice. You're becoming an advocate and a, a, a power player for your friends is what I just heard. Eight of Pentacles. There's a lot of people that admire you. Sometimes with the Eight of Pentacles, this card represents what we are working on and our atten attention to detail and perfectionism. But in reality, what I'm hearing with the Eight of Pentacles for you right now is that there are a lot of people around you that admire you and what you are creating. And you are actively admiring who you are, what you are capable of, and what you can create. This feels very good. It feels like you're acknowledging it, but not in a, I need to be acknowledged. I need to be seen. I need to be heard. It's a quiet confidence that you are stepping into and that is what your heart and spirit is giving to you right now which is very very beautiful each and every single one of you is creating something different within yourself and what you're contributing to the world and spirit is like this is great i'm almost hearing it's about time but it's not in a way of making you feel like you're running out of time it's just saying your time is now and you are actively coming into a good space right on time right two of swords is here but it feels like a person who is blocking out bad vibes um blocking out noise blocking out people who just are not where you're at don't can't match what you're giving um normally they would probably these are people that they might have normally taken from you five of pentacles things that are like your kryptonite people that you care about things that you care about jobs things that you normally show up for that you've learned through time and through past frustration and disappointments and failures the more that i give to this the more that i don't get and the more that i end up be feeling depleted so i am actively going to pick up the key and let myself out of this room I'm not doing it anymore and of course, there are the moments where you're just on top of the world and you feel very high and confident and aware and powerful and vibrant and thriving and colorful and fruitful, all of those things. And then there's moments where you're just like, okay, I'm going to, today is going to be a self-care day. Today is going to be a day where I give to myself because I'm feeling a little rocky. I'm feeling kind of emotional, especially with the queens here. Queen energy is very much known for hormones and feelings and emotions because we have them female feminine energy where you're going to process our feelings. So with this, you are going to give to yourself it during those days that are going to be times for self more self care. They're going to be tangible and they're going to be experiences. So you, I see some of you guys going to a salt room. I see some of you guys going to a um a gravitational tank where you lose sense of your gravity and your the world around you some of you guys are going horseback riding some of you guys are going to be in the garden or in a hammock some of you guys are going to be doing treatments for yourself going really investing your money in luxurious spa treatments getting a massage or tangible things like that cooking a meal eating the meal but it's not just it's not just basic things like what you eat it's it's something more it, you're giving to yourself something more something extravagant something next level okay so if the food is there you're going to a very fine restaurant a very nice restaurant if you're going on a trip it's going to be a luxurious trip it's going to be somewhere that you've been wanting to go and you're going to be paying top dollar for that if you haven't spirit is guiding you or allowing you to give yourself that um big big time or you're going to be manifesting it so let's see what oracle cards here you have wow you guys wow wow okay if you chose pile number one the cards that you got are body which is so funny because this is exactly what i'm saying with the queen of wands and the queen of pentacles this energy feels very tangible it's things that you can touch that you can feel that really wrap you and nurture you it's luxurious it's things that are here present now it's black friday 
time where sales are going on. Everyone's going shopping now or spending their money. Some of you guys are really going to be, as I say that, guys, look at the bottom, King of Pentacles. Some of you guys are really going to be investing some good coin, some good penny, like your pennies, your dollars, good dollars on nice things for yourself or treating yourself to something nice. We also have Sanctuary card. So again, this is a trip. This is the home, which is actually what it is that I said earlier today. Sprucing up the home environment, upgrading the home, putting flowers or fragrances in the home, candles in the home, or spending time turning the home into your own sanctuary for your body, for wellness, for worship, for restoration, for luxury, all of those things. We also have self-sufficiency here. This means that you can do this and you're going to do this for you. You're going to do this on your own terms. Some of you guys have a whole entire room, but I see you guys going into a, I'm sorry. Some of you guys have a whole house or a whole apartment, but I see you guys spending time in a room that you're just kind of sprucing up for yourself. Oh, wow. Okay. We have refuge and we have transcending. So this is spirit saying that something about your finances, something about your self-care routine, something about your rituals and your luxury treatments is being evolved. It's evolving. It's moving forward. Something about you also going into your home environment, going into the safe space, going into a spa, going into the bathtub, um, buying new sheets for your beds, uh, going into a garden space, going outside. Something about that is going to help you to nurture support your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual bodies. Okay, don't ever forget that. We also have worth waiting for and also playfulness. Okay, this is something that you probably had your eyes on, a treatment that it has kind of been on the horizon that you've had to save for, you had to, it might cost something or it might be something valuable. You're just waiting for it. And then finally you secure it for yourself. You get it for yourself and you're able to actually play with it. You're actually able to experience it. You're able to enjoy it. So again, this is, this could be someone going on a vacation, a trip, getting something nice for yourself, not listening to what other people are saying, not hearing them be like, Oh, you should put your money here. You should do this with your money you're you're very independent right now and you're saying listen i worked very long and hard for this and now's the time for me to treat myself i am going to do that okay so let me know pile number one what you are treating yourself to because clearly there's something here what is this coin for you what is this coin for you what experience is it what are you about to get i need to know i want to know <laughs> let me know down in the comments um, i want to invite you to subscribe to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i'll see you in the next one all right, pile number two. These are the cards that you have pulled. I have not seen them yet. Let's go ahead and put these cards back here from pile number one and then see what spirit has for you as far as messages. What does pile two need to hear when it comes to their heart space? I just saw a cup. What is in that cup? Some of you guys, interesting, interesting energy. Some of you guys, I'm seeing you sitting with a cup, an empty cup, and you're like looking into the cup. It's like you're waiting for a sign. You're waiting for a change. You're waiting for, I just heard the word redirection. I'm hearing this pile is like, where, where, where am I going? Where are we going? Where are we headed? I want more. You're, you keep looking into the cup and you're just wanting it to be filled. You're wanting, or something that you normally get is not what you want anymore. Actually, now that I'm saying that, four of cups is here. You just don't feel happy. Like you don't feel, you have nine of swords here as well. It feels like you're like thinking in your head, like this is not working. I don't like this. The word plague keeps coming through. Um, I'm not trying to freak you out, but the fact that it keeps coming up is giving me like global energy. I feel like we might be going into like plague type of energy. Um, you might be feeling this and sensing this more than others. You might feel like there's something impending. 
especially with the three of wands, you're just kind of waiting for something to happen here. You're waiting for the other shoe to drop. You don't feel good right now. The sun card reverse. You don't feel good. Four of swords. Reverse. Two of wands. Reverse. Spirit is kind of telling you to this pile. They're saying, you know what? Fall back. This pile, I want to tell you, I did not choose this pile, but I'm with you, <laughs> okay? This is where I've been doing this for my own self, where I used to show up for the world for everybody. I just would always show up. I would always be there. And spirit told me, go have fun, number one, and then number two, fall off the face of the earth. And that's really essentially what it is that I've been doing. I've been pulling myself away from what I see and from being seen. And I feel like this pile is doing the same thing or being called to do the same thing. And this is probably going to be a little bit of a frustrating message for you because I feel like you actually want to be out. You want things to be different. You want there to be, it's like this new world, like a world. It's like the world around you. Like, it's like, I can't believe, like, this is what we're doing. We're here. This is how we're going to do it. This is what you're choosing to do. Like, for real. It's just like this, ugh, like, like that's the energy that it's giving me. That's the vibe that it's giving me. Feels like you're trying, you've put yourself in certain situations that you've set up for yourself and then it's like something comes in and just kind of catapults it. And you're just like, come on. Or it's just nothing seems to be progressing. Nothing seems to be moving forward and you're just kind of waiting. And spirit is like, literally embrace the spirit of wait right now. Because you're on to something. Yep. Wheel of Fortune. You are sensing something here. I'm hearing the, the, like the, the, um, it's like a, this is kind of, it just reminded me of Akashic Records, the ways of the world that need to unfold. This is a pile that is really influenced by the energy of the world. It's very an empathetic group. Um, where it's something about the way that the world is right now is impacting you and how you feel. It's like if you wake up and it's a cloudy day, you decide I'm going to stay and watch movies or it, the clouds or the, it's kind of giving me seasonal depression type of energy. That's actually it. This feels very seasonal depression. Spirit is saying this is like, it's something about the world. Your environment is having a, an, um, it's dampening your mood, but also I hear attack. You feel energetically, if you go out into the world, you, you energetically will feel overwhelmed, bombarded and attacked or the community, the people are around out there. It just doesn't feel like, no, not that there's anything against them. It just feels like you don't necessarily want or should be wanting to hang out with them right now because there's a reason why you don't want to be involved there's a reason why it's boring there's a reason why it's not it and spirit is saying like you're actually on to something where spirit is saying we're we're moving we're moving they're moving something they're moving you they're moving it they're moving the world around there is definitely an adjustment i just heard holy crap i just heard apocalypse and then i saw judgment card reverse it's like and queen of swords this is giving me you guys the walking dead vibes i'm sorry that this is the message but it is what it is i'm not it is what it is so the walking dead they were born during a time where like just shit was erupting like things were just going down and this pile or those people they were just surviving they're doing their best to survive and it's not anything with them it's just the world and like imagine we're in walking dead times or the apocalypse times and you don't need to be outside. <laughs> you may be bored inside and anxious inside and just like w feeling like the world is passing in front of you, but it's better that you're actually inside and being comforted here than you being outside battling for your survival. And spirit is saying while you're inside, there's something about reading books. There's something about, fostering your hobbies this is giving me hardcore seasonal depression type of energy if you don't if you guys don't know what that is look into wow king of pentacles keeps showing up 
If you guys don't know what that is, look into it, please. And ways to combat it or embrace it or work with it. Yep, Ten of Cups. Eight of Pentacles is here as well. Something is definitely in the works right now. It's big time something is in the works. I'm going to have to do a post about the Eight of Pentacles lately. Because, I mean, lately it just keeps showing up. This is giving me seasonal, seasonal. There's something about embracing the quiet time. It, it's, it's not that you're, you have to be restored. It's that the world has to be made right. There's something about the timing needs to be made right in order for you to be out there or else you just feel like a, you'll not be a victim but you'll just you just don't need to be involved in all of that you know so take some time for yourself working on what you have what you need to be working on what cards do you have i i just need to know wow whoa all right let's let's get into it wow you know, spirit speaks. First card, despair. I want to read this to you. I need your divine intercession right now. Oh, great spirit. Lift this darkness from my soul. Free me from this burden. Open me to your highest plan. May I be peaceful. May I be a peaceful vessel, vessel for your love. There's a lot of messages within that. So the darkness of the soul is what it is that I'm seeing here, especially big time with nine of swords upright, the sun card reversed, the judgment card reversed, four of cups doesn't normally feel like darkness, but in this case it does. It feels like you're just, ugh. um, and four of swords reversed, right? When I see free, open me to your highest plan, this is truly feeling like this point that you're in in your life right now is actually cracking you open for a new experience. Do not take what's going on out there or what has happened or how people are treating each other or how they're treating you. Anything of that, do not take it in inside and don't put it, don't take it personally. You are so loved. You are so valuable. You, your contributions are worth it. There's something that you are going to create that not only is going to be great for the world, but it's going to be great for you. It's going to make you feel good. It's going to make you feel lit up from within. And spirit is actually pulling you away from what everybody else is doing because that wouldn't serve you anyways. And a part of you senses that. So you get to be pulled away you get to reflect, you get to be reborn, you get to be renewed, you get to create because what you are creating within this space is not only good for the world, it's very good for you. Spaciousness. Some of you guys are so, I don't know why this is coming through. Some of you guys are used to being of service to everything and everyone. That spirit is like, now we need to separate you from all of them because yes of course you're here on earth to do good things and to share and to contribute and to take your bad and and share it in a way that's good for others but also we want you to feel good it's important that you're not only being helpful but you are being helped that you're not making not only just making others happy but you yourself are being happy there's this here and Spirit is actually trying to separate you from that. There's a reason why some of you guys feel alone when you're in a group of people. Or the people that you normally are around or the things that you normally do aren't doing it for you anymore. And Spirit's just really honestly giving you space because there's something more than what you've already provided. There's something more that has already been provided that you are now being tapped into. And it's a matter of time. So this is actually really good. Okay. What do I no longer need? Help me, God, to release whatever people, places, or things drain my vital essence. Show me what will fill me with enthusiasm and joy. Literally, some of you guys have been the light for so many and been the light for others. And now Spirit is trying to give the light to you. And this is going to be a part of balance. And this is going to be a part of your new normal. Because maybe from childbirth or maybe for, for a long time, this reading can go very deep. 
you're just constantly wired to be there for others or to be a comfort to others, but you're, you've been actually neglecting yourself and it's actually starting to create despair within you. You're starting to sense like, wait a minute, like you're almost starting to take it personally. Like you're almost starting to believe like this is your reality. This is the truth. This is the reason why you're here. And that's simply not the case. This is why spirit is pulling you away because if they didn't pull you away from it, you would continue to show up in the same way for others again and again and again. And it's literally no, it's not fair for you. We have Mystic Meadow, Sanctuary, and we have Reflecting Pool, Stillness, and we have Generosity. Wow, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did just say that. Okay. The Walking Dead is coming through again. It just feels like you are pulled quiet away from the zombies of the world okay sometimes they don't even know that they're being zombies but they are and you're a generous person and i just feel like people have maybe taken advantage of you or taken advantage of your kindness and my concern beloved is that you're going to take how zombies have treated you and how they the world has held you and how you've been required to show up. And you're going to accept that as a part of your worth and your value and what is expected of you and how this will always be. And that is not the case. It's simply not the case. If you are experiencing depression or darkness or despair, spirit, there's a message here that says this is going to be, it's literally like I heard the words one of a kind. So this is something very different than feeling sad or feeling bored. Depression too is something, or anxiety is something that shows up in different ways. It doesn't always show up in a sad person. Sometimes it's that person that's always smiling and laughing and, you know, or sometimes it can show up in just you not finding life fun anymore. I mean, this is a real story. This is a real truth. I see it within the Queen of Swords right here. And a part of her is really thinking like, what's wrong with me? Like, I don't get it. Like, what am I doing wrong? And it's, it's, there's, it's not, it's, if it's one of a kind and it's passing. There's this message for this group that needs to look, wow. Whoa. <laughs> I love you. Love you big time. We have heart to heart conversations. We have attraction and we have you deserve love. So with you deserve love, you guys, this is connected to the card of generosity. There is a lot that spirit is preparing you to receive. However, I don't feel like you should be overly available to the whole world. It's like you're taking on other people's burdens and you're taking on other people's suffering and other people's you're like always there for everyone and maybe they quickly are there for you. And this is where the sanctuary is coming from. I feel like you're going to find yourself attracted or pulled into areas where you are going to be able to tell all of your truth, tell all of your feelings, get all of it off your chest because honestly, it feels like you've been holding on to it for a minute, especially with the four of cups. It's like you have all these emotions and feelings and things and you have nowhere to pour it out into and no one's pouring into you. So it just kind of sits there stagnant. And I feel that this pile is getting into a space where they are really getting, it's not rewarded. I don't even want to say the word rewarded because this is something that should have been given to you from the jump. But again, fate and karma, those there are things that are outside of our control. It's just something that's now going to be given to you. Some of you guys feel like, Jess, I've never had this before. And I know. I know. But there's going to be more. Something about the water sitting there, the stillness, the boredom, that boredom, it actually allows you to, to see. It's going to allow you to see. And then spirit is saying right now is your time to be blessed. 
your time is now for the blessing. One more card for this pile. It's that the light is coming back into your life. The light is coming into your life. Yeah, two of swords. It's what you haven't been able to see yet. Yep, magician. Literally everything. Everything you want. Health, number one. Clarity in mind. Happiness, direction, purpose, love, power. You're going to feel in control again. Eight of Cups. And you're saying goodbye to the dark. You're saying goodbye to the ending. You're saying goodbye to the frustration, the disappointment. Of course, there will be disappointing moments sprinkled into your life moving forward, but it's not going to feel like the end of the world. It's not going to feel like this is all that there is and all will ever be. You'll It'll be things that you're going to feel so strong and empowered and blessed and supported and poured into and happy that you'll see it as a disappointing fleeting moment and you'll know that there are better days ahead and tomorrow is actually a, a better day, a new day, a fresh day, and it's going to be worth it. So I love you guys so much. Reach out to me if you need me. Of course, I'm at BahadiLife.com and you can reach me at info at BahadiLife.com, my email. I'm here for you, okay? Let's move on to pile number three. Okay, pile number three, this is your group of cards. I have not seen them yet. I am curious. What does pile number three need to hear, see, know, and receive? Um, I just got brought back to the safari. It's not a real safari. What about that? I heard, look what I look what I've done for you. Um, this pile is making me I heard the word nauseous. This pile is making me very emotional. I literally just, if you go back and look at all of my other card piles, def definitely a different energy. This card is like, um, the words that are coming through is accepting defeat, accepting defeat. This pile says, is thinking, this is all that there is. This is all that there will be so wild because the six of wands is here and spirit is saying this pile needs to hear know and receive that um this feels like this is not the end it's not over yet i just heard we're just beginning hmm Something about safari, like being on a safari or memories with a safari or watching a, a movie, a safari, animal documentaries or something like that. Um, something about someone saying, I, I did that, I chose that versus this. Six of Wands feels like, celebrate me, celebrate me, look what I did, look what I did for you. And that's my way of showing you. And some of the crowd says, I don't like the noise. Someone in the crowd says, I don't like the noise. It's the person that this person cares about. So they turn their back because they don't like the noise. And that person feels like the whole world is cheering me on. The whole world is loving me and putting me on this pedestal and the one thing that is that I like doesn't like me. Ooh. This card, I've been feeling a lot of things today. I think it's has a lot to do with my moon cycle. I get very receptive. What is it, spirit? 
Oh my goodness. Seven of Cups Chariot. I don't know what I want, so I'm going to go out and try different things and go out in order to attempt to find what it is that I want. It's going to work. I heard this I heard spirit say it's going to work. Have faith, it's going to work. I just have been tired. I just have been frustrated. I just have been annoyed. I just have been fill in the blank. Just too much. There's too much on my plate. I'm channeling someone right now. Too much on my plate. I'm doing too much. I'm feeling too much. I'm experiencing too much. I'm overwhelmed. I'm not sufficient. I can't handle it. I don't want you to see that I can't handle it. I, I don't want you to see that I cannot handle this. I don't want you to lose. I don't want to lose your respect. Please don't look at me. I'm ashamed of myself. The whole world is like, oh, look at them. Look at what they're doing. Ha ha ha. They're so funny. And like the one person won't look at me. The one person. There's only one person. I just heard in all of the noise and all of the things to see, all I hear and all I see is you. And I can't, I can't accept. I'm um, someone's repeating someone echoes i can't accept less i can't accept this i don't like the noise you keep making this noise you keep making this display and i don't i never asked for this i asked for your silence i asked for you to listen i asked for you to be present i asked for you to show up for me in this way and yet you keep coming up with the loudness and the noise and that's why i'm turning my back away from you Holy. Eight of Wands. Reverse, though. This feels like messages just lost in translation. Two of Swords. Reversed. I, I should have said something or I should have received something. I should have heard something and you never said it. You never deliv delivered it. You never put it out there. In fact, you probably, if you were going to say and send, you didn't. And that's exactly why we're here, Ace of Pentacles. That's exactly why I'm leaving you in the silence because that's what I've wanted. Now look at you. Like literally, these are the cards. <laughs> now look at you. Running everywhere, jumping through fires, jumping through hoops. And for what? Who are you doing it for? The death card, rebirth. And the death card and rebirth. It's like, while you're out there, you need to figure you out. I'm channeling a conversation between two people. While you're out there doing what you're doing, you need to figure you out. Like, someone's like doing this. Don't touch me. I want closeness with you, but I don't want it like this. This is very guarded. I heard the word shield. I'm very emotional right now because I can feel what people are feeling sometimes. And this feels like this is the very last thing that you want to do. This is the very opposite of what it is that you want to do. But you are trying to self-protect. Yeah, we have Knight of Cups and we have Nine of Pentacles. What you want to do is you want to share. You want to be soft. You want to nurture. You want to support them. You want to be supported. You want to be loved. You want to be present. You want to accept them. But you, there's something about you that feels like I know better. And this is the very last thing that I want to do, but I have to do it. Some, there's a conversation going on between two people, whether these are things that are said or things that are felt or things that were not said. Nine of Pentacles is like, I want to be able to share with you. Nine of Pentacles reverse. I want to be able to share with you, but I literally can't. I have to think about myself right now because you're being selfish. I'm being selfish. Nine of Cups. 
I'm sorry, King of Cups upright and Knight of Wands reversed. This person is going to take some time to figure themselves out. Um, the starfish is here. What you guys should know about the starfish is that if it loses a hand, if it loses an arm, if that arm gets cut off, it will grow back over time. So this card is big time about rebirth, resurrection, and renewal. Things coming back to life, things growing back in after a loss, but their loss has to ha has to occur. Let's look at your oracle cards. Oh. Whoa, man. Okay. First card for you is companionship. Whoa. As soon as I put that up there, I heard at what cost. That was you or the other person first saying, like, it's like, as soon as I hear companionship, they're like, at what cost? It's very defensive. You guys need sweetness here. Dude, I, I'm not, I swear, I'm not trying to come on here and sell... But that's a Nectar of Life candle. It's like a pink candle. I have a higher wisdom candle burning right here. This is a Nectar of Life candle. It's a you sweetness, softness. We have empowerment. This is someone or something that is away or on an adventure or self-seeking or self-exploring. It's like someone who breaks up from a relationship and they go backpacking across Europe to like find themselves. Or someone who, <laughs> it's not funny, but it's predictable. It's like someone who goes through a divorce and then that person just goes to like all the clubs and they're just raging and like trying to talk to girls and getting rejected by girls or guys and just being like, I fucking hate this. But they just do it anyways. It's very predictable. Abundance. We have to talk about this card. There's something about this card. Abundance. We also have clarity. Um... Someone is big time getting gaining clarity into their emotional self. Someone is trying really, really, really hard to mature at their own pace. Um, they feel like it's not going to be fast enough or it's not going to be sufficient enough. And this is why you need a blessing. This is why you need good luck. This is why you need some magic. This is why you need things on your side, working on your, on your behalf. We also have healing holy shit this is something got cut off like something got cu cut off with the starfish something is being healed right now after something got cut off especially with the death card here something got removed something got transformed something had to end something had to be crushed in order for it to try try it is to be re to regrow to rebuild and anything that you have done or someone else has said I'm not choosing sides. I'm just speaking the truth. Anything that someone said in order to say to themselves, I need to do this in order for me to find myself, they were not wrong. Or if you had to do that. Love is the one of the most strongest forces in this universe and everybody wants partnership. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. <laughs> Next card, love. So funny. Also, I just heard the like someone say, did you eat? I, either a text message or something like that. Something about that shows that you care. Or I'm asking you, did you eat? Like, are you eating? Did you eat? Are you hungry? What's up? Retreat. Or maybe when someone asks, like, did you eat? That's their way of saying, like, I love you. But then it's like, I need you to actually say it. Retreat. So this is about this person that when they go, guys, watch this movie called um, My Teacher the Octopus or My my Friend the Octopus or Squid or something like that. Can you guys write it down in the comments? Watch that movie. It's about this octopus or squid. I'm pretty sure it's an octopus, which is a sentient being. They feel they're very emotional beings who goes through like... Just octopus things, man. Just crazy stuff and just trust and being on like guarded and defensive and stuff. And she grows back herself in this dark cave. She kind of pulls back. That's what's going on with this retreat thing. 
it's everything is done out of love everything is in this freaking bubble something feels like it could be shattered it's your whole concept it's your whole idea of like what you want it to be it's almost like giving perfectionist vibes like this represents everything to me this relationship this marriage this belief this thing it represents everything to me like i cannot let it fall i cannot let it crash i cannot let it break because i will break and as these two things separate are separate or as these things are rebuilding themselves or healing you're going to gain clarity and look up and see that what are you going to see actually I just heard, I am who I've always needed. Ten of Pentacles. I am who I've needed. Seven of Pentacles. Two of Wands. You're, you're going to stop waiting for something other than the Tower card and the Three of Swords. This is the shattering of the globe. This is the shattering of the perfection. It doesn't mean that what this idea won't ever happen or this love or this healing or this coming together or whatever or companionship or clarity won't happen it will it just will happen in a way that is stronger than the fallacy and the lie that you are wanting to build your truth about of this on does that make any sense whoa wow <sighs> oh i'm taking a nap after this one <laughs> y'all make me tired I love you guys okay I just need to take a moment for a second okay so we have express your love give your relationship a chance and make the effort and codependency we need to talk this reading right here is clearly for me it's about someone who Guys, look at this. You can see this person reaching out. Like these are the cards of people constantly reaching out, trying to make an effort, trying to prove, and someone kind of shifting their face and someone trying to, this is very, was very immature, very childlike, very moving from high school love into actual stable marriage. This is someone who is immature, who is really trying, who is frustrated because what they feel like they give and what they contribute isn't enough. And the person, the other person is like, I need you. You're very performative. You're doing all this extra shit when I told you what it is that I wanted and I needed and I just need you to be mature. I need you to be this. And you guys are kind of needy on each other. There's an energy of you guys needing each other and you guys just can't fucking figure it out. This is very much... Uh, this is clearly two separate people because I've been caught in the middle of you guys' conversation from the jump. So it's like you guys really want each other and need each other and love each other. And there's literally nothing else out there. There's literally like even if there might even if you might have entertained or even if they might have entertained, it literally was not it like it wasn't it. And you guys are actually pretty codependent on each other, but there needs to be a cut a cutation and a removal so that you can grow and they can grow and they can become clear and you can become clear and things can actually be grow like in a good way in a strong way in a stable way you can't it's like two people having different love languages and they keep speaking different love languages to each other and it's like it's lost in translation you're you keep saying this and doing this but are you hearing me did you hear me and I'm tell I'm tired of telling you, and I don't know what your other person's trying to say, but either way, communication. I forgot that I pulled this abundance card out because there's something here. You guys need a blessing. I'm just gonna keep it 100 with you. You guys need a blessing. You guys need help. Um, I say that with love. <laughs> Yeah, five of pentacles here. Yep, five of swords. You feel rejected, they feel rejected, and then you guys go right back into these repetitive patterns and it just sets the relationship up or sets the heart up for failure. If this is not two separate people having a conversation with each other, it's like self-defeating 
tendency is that this person, this whoever chose this pile, reflects. So you guys need to help help to break this cycle, to stop doing this. And it needs to be spoken over your life like yesterday. I'm going to not lie to you, ever. Everyone in my personal life, in my close life, and in my distant life, you don't have to know me to know that I will never lie to you guys. Ace of Cups. This is what needs to be spoken over you and your love life and your heart. It's the truth, the vulnerability, the softness, the kindness, the compassion, the effort. Hear me, understand me, give us potential. Make it so, make it happen. Don't have there be obstacles anymore. Don't have there be misunderstanding and um, like things getting lost in translation and all the love that we have for each other and just no ability to, to give it, to, to create. Let there be clarity. Speak that over you guys' as partnership. See it for what it is. Have a blessing put over it so that this, these seeds that you guys have will grow into it's ace of cups put this under a candle the nectar of life candle it's the pink one within the shop put it under the candle and set the intention for softness for clarity for understanding for effort for chemistry for not a chance but maturity for regrowth for it to work this time like m speak that give your relationship a chance this means that all of the extra shit, all the extra noise, all of the baggage, the abandonment, the, again, a lot of it has to do with miscommunication and like you guys are just not understanding each other. Like the love is there. You just can't get it across to each other. Sorry guys, text messages came in and I had to like read it. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's the message for this group. Is there anything else? Yeah, Seven of Swords. Last thing, you guys, someone ran off. Someone ran off. Someone escaped. Someone's hiding. Don't be concerned about this, or maybe you yourself are doing this. This is actually for them to have awareness um, and an awakening and a rebirth and resurrection of themselves. Something is being, being reborn here and growing back. If you are smart, you would channel, use the magic, use prayer call in the archangels to help you guys to come together um not in a way that forces two together but that helps you guys to come together in a way that both of you guys understand each other now and are given a chance for better if not you guys this is also giving me um baby mama or baby daddy or divorce like a child is stuck in the middle and you guys are just so caught in like your own ego, your own anger, your own dysfunction, your own discord that you can't figure things out. This is where the Ace of Cups has to, you have to ask for a blessing to soften up the situation and make it better. Make it sweeter, make it kinder so that the best can come from this and that you guys are working together and not against each other anymore. Put the past behind you, put the disappointment behind you, gain clarity and come together and make this work that's what is going to be spoken of is heart okay guys <laughs> that's a very specific message pile number three it is what it is let me know if it resonates down in the comments um if you need me you can find me at bahadilife.com working with oils and candles and packing herbs and all that other stuff you guys know i'm good for it and if you need to reach out to me i'm at info at bahadilife.com I'm not doing any personal readings, so be mindful and aware of those in the comments who are spamming and scamming in that order. <laughs> those little roaches will be crushed in their own time and are currently being crushed at this moment in time. It is what it is. That's just what happens when you just come out looking for crumbs, okay? All right, until next time, you guys, I'm sending you guys all of my love. I'm wishing you nothing but the best, and I will see you later. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing, all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. 
browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.